Where is she going? I've decided to take a break from writing. What does that mean? What does that mean? When I say I'm taking a break from writing, it's a bit counterintuitive to everything I've been taught about working through a creative slump or working through writer's block. I've always found that it's best to just write through it and see what you come up with because having a something bad is better than having nothing. Lately, I've been finding it kind of difficult to overcome the pressure I'm putting on myself to create. So after discussing it with a few different people, mostly my writing partner, I've decided to step away from actively writing. And that doesn't mean I'm not involving writing in you know every basic aspect of my life or at least doing some mental activities towards writing. Working through a creative slump can be kind of difficult. I don't think that is any kind of surprising knowledge and it probably shouldn't be uh, but at the moment I've decided not to force myself to create and I'm not putting pressure on myself to create because I found that last time um, I took this kind of break I really needed rest overall I think it's good to approach the world with care so you should like Ray Armand Trout says dress like you care, eat like you care, and care like you care. And then you should also write like you care. I think you can apply care to almost everything that you do, not only in writing, but specifically here I'm talking about writing. You should approach your words with care and be careful about how you choose words. I think so much comes down to how we treat the elements of our work. and that all connects back to how we treat ourselves. So when I say I'm taking a break from writing, it comes down to I'm taking a break and taking care of myself. And that break is still filled with so much creativity and so much that is done in thoughtful service of my writing. So in a way, I know that by taking this break, quote, I am taking care of my writing. So I've been thinking about what some of my favorite ways to recharge creatively are. Number one, I guess while I have it, is journaling. I journal almost every day. A lot of the times I'm just talking about my day, writing about what I've seen on my walk sometimes. I try different writing exercises in my journals too, like um, sometimes just lists of things I noticed throughout the day, details that stood out to me, kind of going back to that idea of collecting thoughts and collecting images and memories. Well, sometimes I like to doodle the, you know, this journal's lined, so I don't do as much drawing in it. I prefer an unlined journal. I'm a journal snob. <laughs> but I also do like magazine collages. My journal is my like creative chaos space. My journal is as much of a creative exercise as it is a reflective one. Everything is in the journals. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. But aside from journaling, I like to go through a few different things I like to do when I'm in a creative slump. And when I say I'm taking a break from writing, these are the things that I'm spending my time doing. I'm not just like sitting here um, binging TV shows, which is also a really good like, let's face it, binging TV shows can also be a really good writing exercise. If you're thinking critically about the plot and characters and trying to decipher it and, I don't know, I just think any kind of critical activity where you're absorbing a story, you can apply that to your writing and learn from it. I do a lot more reading. So right now I'm reading so much. I find that reading is a really good way to take the pressure off of writing. Reading was not something that I did a lot over the winter, even though I know I like it. I just couldn't bring myself to focus on it. And of course, all of that trickles back down into your writing. You know, if I'm not reading, what is inspiring me? Yes, the world around me inspires me, but one of the best things you can do for your writing is to read constantly and nourish yourself with other people's work. Reading is really, really critical. And, you know, I like to read a wide variety of things. So I read David Ferrier's uh, Footprints. I used his book Anthropocene Poetics in my thesis, and his writing is just absolutely beautiful. Um, 
and it also took me through you know stages of grief about the environment and I read Craft in the Real World which was excellent one of the best books on writing I've read probably add it to my favorite books on writing I read A Tree Grows in Brooklyn I read what else did I read I read The Summer Book by Toby Janssen. I read various other things that, you know, I didn't enjoy all of them, but I'm taking a new thing away with each of them. Anything from nonfiction to poetry or graphic novels to middle grade fiction is just constantly enriching my life. I'm reading, I'm creating, I'm revising old works. I'm having fun and being creative with my words and with my surroundings. I'm cleaning and I'm taking care of my space. I'm exercising and taking care of my body. Um, and I think that that's equally as important and lays a good foundation for producing more work in the future. Because if I'm just constantly burning myself out trying to produce content, I know that, or I feel like I've come to understand that it may not ultimately serve my craft in the best way. As much as I wish I were actively creating right now, and I still am, just not in the way I would prefer I am, uh, so I do think it's about not putting pressure on yourself to create when you are experiencing a block because it's okay, you know, it just means you have to take care of yourself and take care of your work and take care of your writing in a new way. I also like to go for walks and I feel like, um, ah, just being out in nature, observing the world, observing the people, the dogs, the beach, spring and like the world is so alive right now and as I'm like becoming rejuvenated and rejoining the world in a way after this horrible winter. I like winter by the way, I do. I love the snow and I like the cold and I like my winter clothes. Rejoining the world in spring, I have to remind myself, take note of everything that's around you or even just in my apartment, like all my plants are enjoying the extra sunlight and all the extra daylight and they're growing. So I think going out and being the world and going on a walk, getting moving, getting those workout endorphins, but also delighting in all the little details of the world is such an important part of my process of taking care of myself and taking care of my writing. Um, and then while I'm walking, I end up reflecting. And I think reflecting is such an important component of this too. It's just like, I'm reflecting on my past, on my relationships, on my childhood, on my future, on anything that I'm anxious about and also actively reflecting on my writing. And for the first time in a long time, I found myself writing in my head while I was walking. And it was super satisfying because it reminded me, yes, I am, I am doing the work and I'm getting better. And soon I will see the other side of this rut. Just connecting with things you love and connecting with people you love and really enjoy taking care of myself during this little break from writing. and. Another thing that's important to note, which will make me seem like a liar this whole time, is that during these writing breaks, I still write. And that's not just journaling. I'm not just journaling. I am actually um, writing, but not new things. That's the key here is like, I will revisit old favorite projects and rewrite scenes or move things around. So a lot of it's editing and being like, ooh, like here's this beautiful like clay that is this finished novel manuscript and how can I change it and make it better or mold it? Um, because now I've had time away from it. Like how has my attitude towards it shifted? Is there anything I've learned over the past year that can bring a new perspective to this piece? We all know reflection is such a key part in the writing process and I tell my students that all the time and they have to write a reflection at the end of the semester and a reflection after every paper they write. For my process as well, that element of reflection has become really important and as I'm taking this break, that's something I'm going to be more intentional about as well. Which is why I'm doing this vlog! Yay, right? <laughs> Reflecting. Thanks for, thanks for joining me.